I need to know everything you know about the Winter Hill Gang, and specifically what you know about your former boss and now fugitive, James Whitey Bulger. Well, let's start. In the beginning, Jim was a small town player. He's a very smart, disciplined man. Take your shot, but make it your best. Because I get up, I eat you. I'm at the table, you can come and you know, the next thing you know, he's a damn kingpin. I'm at the shoulder you know why? Because the FBI let it happen. I grew up with Jimmy and his brother Billy, the senator. And that is a bond that doesn't get broken. Your brother is waiting in some very dark waters. Jimmy's business is Jimmy's business. We all need friends. Even Jimmy. Even you. I can help you, Jimmy. And you can help me. It's an alliance. We get the FBI to fight our wars, and we do whatever we want to do. For success. Just getting started. Boom! I jump to the sky for my people. I walk through the world. just playing this. Making a fool of the bureau. Tell me We're in too deep. And he knows it. Now come around me telling me I changed. God help us. How come no one has nailed Whitey Bulger? He seems to be involved in every crime in the city, and yet the Bureau keeps saying he's clean. Well, what's Bulger done? What's he done? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the trash can, not the last man at the finish line now. You cannot say that to me. You can just follow and push around. I'm not the changing job. In the haystack that you finally found. This ain't no free break. Come on, put your tip in. Time it down. If he gives me his word, he will keep it. Oh, oh, till it's gone. Oh, oh, till it's gone. So when this trailer first popped up, I was like, stop making Black Mass trailers, Warner Brothers. I'm already planning to go and see the movie. Don't show me the whole movie before you get my money. But then as I watched the trailer, I was like, ooh, this isn't just Black Mass trailer three, but Black Mass, there are other people in this movie besides Johnny Depp. Uh, yes, this has a very impressive cast, uh, this film, and I think that it's the cast of the film, the supporting cast, and the writing and directing, which are going to be crucial in elevating Black Mass beyond your typical Johnny Depp uh, acting tour de force. I mean, he's made movies like this before, uh, most notably Donnie Brasco, uh, Brasco and also Blow. So you're like, okay, another great, uh, you know, entry in that category of Johnny Depp films. But of course, Warner Brothers has, you know, bigger plans for this film, and I think uh, is hoping this will be an awards contender. And Depp's performance does look like top-notch Depp. Uh, you know, why everyone fell in love with him in the first place before he went into the blockbuster business. Quite, quite successfully, I might add. I don't hold that against him at all, and I'm glad that he's still experimenting. But I'm very happy to see the rest of the cast get the chance uh, to shine because it looks like they're shining brightly. I mean, Benedict Cumberbatch, that accent is fantastic. And how refreshing is it to see a different side of Benedict Cumberbatch finally? I mean, talk about someone who might be a little, uh, you know, verging on overexposed, almost like uh, Depp. So I guess he's a good person to play uh, the brother. Uh, you got Peter Skarsgård in there, Joel Edgerton. Uh, the whole cast just looks really, really well, uh, well, not, not only well assembled, but like they're doing what they were assembled to do. Even Dakota Johnson, who I liked quite a bit in uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, I thought she really stood out there for her acting ability. Surprise, surprise. And I think she looks like she's well utilized here. Jesse Plemons from Breaking Bad, almost of Star Wars, but that didn't work out. But it looks like he's not, uh, certainly not uh, out of the game. Also, I think that this mo Corey Stoll, eh, as I said with my Ant-Man review, I feel like Corey Stoll is very TV-like, TV so I still am not totally sold on him being in feature films. But the other thing I liked about this trailer is that I think it's done the best job actually so far on selling this film on the true story rather than Depp's performance. And that's the incredible situation where you have a gangster who has a connection at the FBI and in the, at the, gov and in the government, and you're like, how did it take so long 
for the government and law enforcement to figure out that he had these ridiculous connections. I mean, that's a very powerful uh, trinity there. So that makes me even more interested in the Whitey Bulger story. Uh, also, Whitey Bulger, not one of the most famous uh, gangsters in terms of pop culture of all time, not like an Al Capone, uh, you know, et cetera, like, you know, that, that, um, I think Al Capone probably is uh, the most uh, famous gangster. Although, uh, Goodfellas, uh, you know, that gangster wasn't particularly well known and it didn't stop that movie from being a tour de force and becoming one of the greatest gangster films of all time. So let's see if they can uh, add to that uh, group of films instead of just your general Johnny Depp's a great actor group of films. Uh, so what do you think? How does the rest of the cast look? Do you think they can, uh, com you know, keep up with Johnny Depp? And what do you think of the story angle that's finally being uh, 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 teased at least a little bit? Uh, write your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for tuning into my review and you can check out some other episodes right now.